all blasphemy, so it was no longer blasphemous to speak against the Lord Jesus Christ. And he did it to accommodate the Muslims. He did it to appease people of different religions. My dear friends, God's law remains the same. Prince Charles wants to become defender of faith, of all faiths, of all religious persuasions and practices. He's not the defender of the faith. Jesus Christ is the one who is our shield and our defender. Jesus Christ alone is the defender of the Christian faith. And Jesus Christ never came to bring another religion. He came to call men to follow him out of darkness, out of the darkness of sin and into the kingdom of our God. Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. David Cameron took it upon himself to change the definition of marriage. And he made marriage between a man and a man, instead of marriage between a man and a woman. God ordained marriage and God defined marriage between a man and a woman. And God did that before man fell into sin in the Garden of Eden. God defined marriage. Who is man, proud man, to redefine what God has defined? And you know that if a man and a man have a relationship, they cannot have children. You know that if a woman and a woman have a relationship, they cannot have children. And God has told us in his holy law that for a man to lie with a man as with a woman is abomination. That for a man or a woman to lie with a beast, even God has to declare that because of the wickedness of man, even dreaming up such things. And God said it is confusion. And both the man and the beast, if they practice such things, were to be stoned to death. And that is because God is a just and holy God. God is not a tyrant. God is not barbaric. But because of the wicked imaginations of men imagining to do things against the Most High God, that's why God's justice came into operation. And God's justice requires not just suffering, not just imprisonment on account of sin, but death on account of sin. God said, if any man sheds man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. And the reason for that, the death penalty, was to put away evil from our midst. If you allow a man who willfully kills another person, if you allow that man to go on doing what he's doing, then you'd have numerous people murdered. And that's why there should be the death of the perpetrator. And then you cut off the wickedness of murder. That's why there are wars fought in this world. Why? Because God delights in people exercising vengeance? No. In the children of Israel, God told them to go and destroy the Canaanites. Why did God say destroy the Canaanites? Because the iniquity of the Amorites, the Canaanites, was full. 400 years God waited for the Amorites to repent, and they never repented. In the days of Abraham, the iniquity of the Amorites was not full. But in the days of Joshua, the iniquity of the Amorites was full. And this nation, this nation of Great Britain, it's going to be under the judgment of God because the whole law of God and the Ten Commandments are now being rewritten by the